Hello everyone. I'm making my way down Havana Lane at the moment. Back to where I started in the last video. And then we're gonna, instead of heading towards town, we're gonna turn right and head towards Newton. And make our way up to the Newton Nine Arches Viaduct. Very, very important place. We're heading over to the brook at the moment the plan was to make this deeper and wider so boats could navigate down the brook and ultimately end up in Warrington in Liverpool but it failed completely failed I think we have a water hen right there <laughs> God, there's midges everywhere. Let's head this way. That's the flash. That's where I started last time in the last video. Let's go this way this time. And we'll connect back up to the canal very soon. Oh, we have some swans over there. Here's where the canal was. And the canal went straight down that way, if you remember me explaining towards town centre. Beautiful day for getting out on the bikes, for coming for a walk. There's not much to see around here. Unfortunately, as you can see, the canal is still going. We're going to keep on following it, but we will end up on that side of the canal very very soon because this path crosses over comes into like a fork junction and yep we end up on that side of the canal i've tried jogging a few times nearly died every time so i can't give up with that idea I'm going to cross over now and onto the main path. Ew. As you can see, Cal has completely gone in this section. You can see where the bank was. And the canal, as you can see, Came across this path, obviously that it does set the path away, and carried on down here. Not much to see down here. It's still pleasant walk. <clears throat> still going. That's where the canal was. Bits of it are still in water. This path just seems to go on and on and on. And I think I just heard a squirrel up inside of here. Sick of eating midges. Beauty ones are right here. Let's have a little peek. Might as well wait and pass it. Be a nice area to come camping in these trees here. Still going along the same path. That takes you down to a van flash. It takes you up to Newton the Willows where I'm heading. I just want to quickly say, I do cut large sections of this walk out 
um, because there's just pretty much nothing to see. It's, but if you would like to see a video where I do the full walk, no cuts, let me know. Now somewhere up here, the canal actually crossed the path uh, that I'm walking on right now. And it ended up on my left hand side. Before where we were, it was on my right hand side. Obviously, don't know why I said that. Here's a little story for you. It said that you get chased down this path. You come down here alone at night. It said that you get chased and you can hear boots behind you, coming up behind you. And the retin is Mr. Clonks. That's what they say haunts this area. There's a spirit that we call Mr. Clonks. Now I don't know if there's any truth behind the Mr. Clock story. Just a tale that's circulated around for quite some time. Still on this path, I'm just about to come into Newton the Willows. That's just ahead of me down there. Down there is a van of flash. I'm just having a minute. I have just noticed a horsey. Let's keep on going. The canal starts again in just a moment. I was going to go home and get my tea in a bit. I don't think I need to now with the amount of midges I've eaten. And here we are, we're finally back onto the canal. Eight miles to Ferry Lock. A lot of fishing takes place here these days. And you can see though, canal comes to an end, they just fill it in. We are coming up to Newton the Willows at this point. We're about to go down and under the road. As long as it's, the bridge is still accessible, that is. And we want to stay with the St. Helens Canal, or Sankey Canal. Right, here we are. I have just come from down there, which is the flash. And now, this is Common Road, taking you up into Newton the Willows Town Centre, and that way we are going to be going under the road, following the, the banks of the canal. architecture you can tell this is the original architecture they have tried fixing it up though you can see with a modern brick they tried fixing it well this is the original brickwork you remember back in the day this would have been a huge swing bridge oh it's not you around here now that's Penkford School that you see at the back there still going to carry on along the banks of the canal and this is where the canal opened up again as you can see came through the bridge there open back up here this bridge that I'm walking over here is obviously very modern well, I say very modern, it's probably been here 70, 80 years maybe, but you can tell with the brickwork though. 
and the canal kept on going that way we have the brook over there the Sankey brook oh, the canal went through these trees oh, I don't know if there's any horses out there today oh, we've got a rabbit got a couple of rabbits sitting there by that bush and I've got mosquitoes now that is the Sankey Brook oh, we have some geese over there usually we've got horses in there as well that water though is irrelevant to this video that is actually just flooded I can hear a train it'd be going over the Nine Arches Viaduct very soon now which way should I go? Should I take the new path or should I take the old path? Dip, dip, I'll take the old path. The original path. Oh. And that's where the canal was. You can see the dip in the land though. That was the canal. That I wasn't, wasn't here when these trees collapsed. Probably during the recent storms that we've had, recent wind storms. I'm back, everyone. Don't know what went wrong then. My camera just went all weird on me. I'm just coming out of this original trail that I was on a moment ago. You can see horses over there in that field. Again, Penkford School. I've had a flash, it's all back down that way. The canal at this point was on this side. We're coming up to the Nine Arches Viaduct in a minute. And here we go, here's the canal. Or at least part of the canal. See there was a, a gate here. see where the canal would have gone it would have carried on down there I think it widened up here it looked like it went wider there and then carried on down but there was definitely a gate or a lock here at some point let's go and have a look on the other side of this road because the canal carries on on this side of the road up to the Nine Arches Viaduct Go for a look at this canal. As you see, it used to start turning to the right there. I went down to the viaduct and went under the third arch. This definitely looks like it was a gate or a lock that was here. I'm straight down under that road and I'll show you the other section there earlier. Looks like it may have been another lock or something down here. Just notice this sign here. The Sankey Canal. Built in 1755. The canal is the first true canal of England's Industrial Revolution. You can see that it went from Spike Island, Fiddler's Ferry, Sankey Bridges, through the old hall, Sankey Viaduct, which we're about to look at. And then ends here at the hotties where we've been filming. Now the viaduct that we're about to look at was constructed by Stevenson according to this. I think it was George Stevenson in 1830. The viaduct carries the world's first passenger railway across the Sankey Valley and England's first industrial canal. A site of national importance. The canal which used to go under the third arch from the left.
Here we are everyone. The world's first major railway viaduct. Just amazing to see this viaduct in such good condition. They really did know how to build things solid back then. And this was the best design George Stevenson could come up with. I don't know if there was any other way which he could have transported the trains across the Sankey, Val Sankey Valley at the time. I'm not sure if there was another way of doing it. Well, this was his idea, the viaduct. People used to sit up there on that overhanging ledge right there that you see. Right there. People used to sit along them ledges. And the canal would have been here at this point under the path that we're walking on today. Look at this. Architecture there on those ledges, the architecture on this bridge is amazing. Really amazing. You can see there's sections there where they've had to repair the bridge. One more look at the viaduct. Amazing piece of engineering for its time. Absolutely amazing. Yay, we managed to catch a train. There's a little bonus though, just a little bonus. And they just ripped up all the banks to the canal here, as you can see. Nothing left of it from that point, but... See, it went round that way. Obviously the canal went pretty wide though. Still got some... There's the get. Just totally rotted away. Another huge lock. Let's walk along. There's your mooring points each side. Doesn't even look clean. Just looks quite horrible like that needs cleaning out. Here was where the other gate was along this lock. I'm not sure which lock it was, but there's one gate, and the second gate right here, and then the canal opened up again. I will say this: there is a huge fish in though. Walk down the banks of the canal a little bit further. Seven miles to Ferry Lock. And those what remains of the sugar foundry though. There's actually, there's actually, there's a concrete plate on top of there. Not sure what it leads to. 
Well, that hill that you see there is the sugar foundry, or what was the sugar foundry. Now, the brook is on that side. <coughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Not much to see there, but this was a big swing bridge back in the day. Just for reference, Havana Flash is all the way back down that way, and where we went under the canal, well, went under the road, then the Nine Arches Viaduct. can't see much of where the swing bridge was but you can see there were the wall arcs around and as I mentioned in the last video it had to be swing bridges because of the type of boat That you see though, where the ground just dips in though, that's the brook. Not interested in that in this video. Right, back with you in a minute. I just want to say to everyone, if you're still watching this video, thank you. Truly thank you. I'm trying to dock as much, document as much as I can along the St. Helens Canal and the Sankey Canal for, for you guys. I'm a little bit out of breath, I've just been walking quite a distance and it is very warm today. But if you're getting value out of this video and you're enjoying this video, please press that like button, Give this, press that thumbs up, press the bell so you'll be notified every time I release a new video and press subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. Let's carry on with the journey. Now it looks like we're coming up to what was another lock along this canal. Maybe another swing bridge, because you can see there where the canal, you can see just ahead there where the canal goes a bit narrower. See these, this wall along the edge here, and still going along the Sanky Valley Canal. Open fields and farms on that side. I believe this was a lock. Still floors but through those pipes. Right, we're just on the other side now. Where they blocked off and they're saying it looked like it was a lock. You can see here where the gate was. Now it's public walkway and road. But yeah, here's where the lock was. Both still running, but we're gonna keep on going a little bit further along the canal here. A bit of a breeze developing, which is nice. I found that on that side. But I think we're coming up to a sluice next along this canal. Look at that beauty. Wow. I 
Not sure which train it was. Another train. So in part one, I started this series. I ran a flash and I made my way down the St. Helens Canal. Again, this is the same canal. Only now it's, this is the Sankey Valley, the Sankey Canal. And this runs all the way up into Widnes and Warrington and then out and into Liverpool. So I'm just trying to document as much as I can along this canal. Seeing that train then was absolutely awesome. I love that. One of the old steam trains. I wish we was a bit closer to the station when that went past. That would have been cool to see. But it's been absolutely great weather. Been a joy walking down here. Have a look at the old, where the old locks were and gates and everything else. Got a sign in now saying six miles to ferry lock. Now in part three, we'll go and see Ferry Lock. As you can see, most of this is prone to erosion as well. Not surprising given it, given its edge, but I think now we're coming up to a sluice. It was probably a swing bridge at one point. Let's take a look. I'm not sure where that was though. May have been. I'm not sure what that is down there. We have the canal here, that's what matters. Beautiful is that. And that does the canal. Then it runs into this. This looks like it was a lot more modern. We might be deviating away from the canal slightly here. See the canal was still here but I'm not sure. So there would have been a bridge or something there to bring the canal over. I, I, I really don't know what's happened though. But if the canal was anywhere along here it would have been on this side and all this long grass they will be joined back up to the canal again very soon once again Thank you very much for watching these videos. Really do hope that you're, that you're enjoying watching the series where I travel along the St. Helens and Sankey Canal. I've just come out of this trail. There's some signs here. I've just come from down that way though. I've had a flash and the willows and come to that sign. I need to go down that way to stay on the canal. So we're going to have a quick look. Another train. What's down here? 
as no sign of the canal though and this is the way it points me to go to it back onto the canal a little bit lost at the moment followed some signs that have pointed me this way to follow the canal and uh, I'm not seeing much of the canal, I'm seeing a lot of trees. But let's just go a little bit further. Just over there is the railway. I just want to mention one more time to everyone if you want to see me do some of these videos with no cuts to a full length journey uh, let me know in the comments and I will do that if that's what you want I will do that and um, that way you get to see absolutely everything the only reason I cut sections out is because parts of the video were just keep on dragging on and it would get very boring well in my opinion it was but if you like that sort of video and you would like to see to do that type of video proper long form video then let me know I am pretty sure that I'm walking where the canal was at one time you just you wouldn't think it you wouldn't think it at all it's just totally overgrown now and pretty much gone and also if you're getting if you've enjoyed this video um press that like button and press the bell so that you can be notified as soon as i release a new video and you can show your support by subscribing to my channel as well as i've said many times it's a real encouragement to see people spending time to watch videos I'm a little bit out of breath, I'm a bit tired now. I've walked quite a long way in this video. I'm still going through these woods. Again, this is where the canal was. Um, I was actually quite worried at one point that it deviated away from the canal completely because that does not resemble a canal at all. Oh, I am absolutely, I'm tired now, I am tired, but, finally, finally, found the canal and it looks like it went into a basin though, well this proves that I was actually on the right track the whole time, let's go down here into the canal and have a look, you can see this was actually a lock, you can tell it was a lot because there was one of the gates and where the cutting is there in the wall there was the other gate and the cutting obviously this has all just been filled in with dirt now but you can just see the remains of these gates down here another major lock coming out of Union Willows and into Winnick Major lock. This is all the original brickwork as well. They have tried showing it up at some point in the past because you can see there with a relatively modern brick, but all this on top is original. This side is completely original. And there was one of the levers that would have been up on the side though to open up the gates. These absolute beauties just sitting here.
that looks like it would have been on the top here. Parts of the old hinge is still there. And there's the other gate. Look at this. It's been burnt as well. Two trains. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Very soon this is going to be lost forever. This whole section of the canal here is going to be lost forever. So you can see there where the modern brick is again. They tried shoring the banks there as well. And this is where the canal widened again and carried on down through what's woods today. Walk along this wall and have a look to see what remains on the top here. This will be gone very soon. It'll be lost forever. Imagine how deep that would have been though. These gates are huge. So you can see just how much they'd filled it in. Amazing. Guess they used to use that. Guess they used to use that to pull themselves out of the boat, maybe out of the Mersey Flats. Pretty much out since the middle of nowhere. She's rotting. The canal is there. That's the Sankey Canal in Woods. If you thought, look at the Sankey Canal here, straight down, back into Woods. This is the only section that I've been able to find. Um, coming out of Newton the Willows and into Winnick. Nice everybody. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been one heck of a journey. Trying to get up here. I'm absolutely tired now. I to make my way back home. Go and get a coffee. And relax a little bit, put my feet up. As you can see, there's locks here, lock gates, and down there, there's actually lock gates as well. And then the canal just disappears back into those woods where there is, probably isn't even a trace of the canal again for miles. Had a few trains. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've made it to the end, let me know that you finished. Comment. Finished. I'm tired now. I'm tired now and got through these woods. Again, where I'm stood was the canal. 
the Mersey Flats were coming along here. This was a busy, busy, busy canal back in the day. Very busy canal back in the day. You just wouldn't think it now. You wouldn't think it when you see this section like this. I also want to quickly mention thank you for all the support. Truly, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you've got value out of this video and you've you've enjoyed watching it, hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button, press the bell. Part three will be coming up very soon. But I'm going back home. Got a long way to go, a long walk back. I could just go sleep here. Just pitch a little toboggan up here in the trees and just call it a night here and then carry on with the video tomorrow. Been one heck of a journey this one. Part three, we'll be going into witness. I'm following the connection though. And on that one, you might get to see some barges and that on the canal because I think that's where the canal starts getting used again is the witness connection once again thank you for watching this video hopefully you've made it to the to the end and you found it very interesting I want you to I want you to leave your thoughts below what you think of this video what your your opinions on the canal and what you think should be done my personal belief is they should reopen it. They should stop messing around and get the canal open again. So then it can be used. A message to the St. Helens Council right here. The people of St. Helens want the canal back. I will see you all in the next video. Take care everyone. Please remember to like, subscribe and press that bell to be notified every time we release a new video. See you all in the next video.